Saudi Arabia is rolling out a huge expansionary budget for 2018. Now, here's the lowdown. The kingdom will boost spending to almost $300 billion in a bit to revive an economy. Well, that's uh, languished in the wake of low oil prices. It expects GDP to expand 2.7% next year. That's after shrinking by half a percent in the last 12 months. And inflation uh, will accelerate to more than 5% from its current negative territory. I spoke to the finance minister himself, Mohammed Jadan, about the outlook. The government announced last week the second wave of the stimulus package of 72 billion, uh, 22 of which is for uh, 2018. The rest is going to be for the next two years. And we are working now with the private sectors, and you will see a few workshops uh, conducted in the next few weeks to work on the third wave, which would be about 80 plus billion, uh, focusing on industries that are strategic that employs more locals, that adds to the GDP. What we have seen uh, in the second wave is very clear. We have about 15 initiatives. Each initiative has a specific amount that is allocated to it and to be spent over a period of time. We are designing the third wave, uh, working with the private sector. We also don't want to give the private sector something that they don't want or they don't need. So we need to make sure that we design it, we design the amounts, the sectors, and the duration, whether it is some of it, some of it maybe for 18, some of it will be 19 and 20. You'll recall that uh, among the plans of the kingdom was to generate additional revenue off the back of the Saudi Aramco IPO. Here's what uh, Ed Jadhan had to say on that. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, um, the uh, chairman of the company, the Minister of Energy, the CEO of the company, uh, have uh, each, each, and I think myself, uh, to one of your colleagues, said that the IBO is on track. We are uh, still selecting our options. Tadawan only is one of the options. Uh, we are not ruling out any of these at this stage. We are going through a lot of discussion, a lot of assessment, uh, what is best for the company, what is, this is not a normal IBO, this is the IBO uh, of the world. Uh, so we, one would need to make sure that we don't leave any stone untouched and, and, and turned to ensure that we are doing what needs to be done to choose the right place. Now, the other source of additional revenue could be what's happening with the government's so-called anti-corruption crackdown. The figures have been thrown around on the basis as well of some of our reporting between 100 to 200 billion dollars. Here's what he had to say about that. The Attorney General uh, made uh, a very clear statement um, that what they are accused of is in the region of 100 billion. Uh, what is going to be recovered is a matter for settlements that are taking place, as His Excellency announced, or the court ruling for those who uh, choose not to settle but to go through the court system. So this, is, uh, this takes time. Uh, I don't want to speculate on specific numbers, and uh, I really don't have any specific information as of today what are we talking about in, spe in specific, whether it is this year or, or the years to come. That money is part of the Treasury. It has been taken from the Treasury. It will go back to the Treasury. Allocation of that fund will be part of what we allocate uh, for the budget. And uh, you may have heard some of their excellencies saying that you know, the budget is spent on uh, health care, education, other services that touches the, the people. So if we recover, it will go to Treasury that will also spend on these services. I also spoke to the economy minister, Mohammed Tawajri. He told me that the plan is to gradually move Saudi Arabia away from its reliance on oil. It's a fine balance that they need to strike. It is a balanced approach to the whole solution. Uh, there is a positive and some side effects. Uh, we expect the economic growth to start picking up in 2018. But again, our objective is to have a gradual economic growth rather than sharp and exposed totally to the volatility of oil prices.